Okay, guys, like every other VDI solution, because Windows Virtual Desktop is basically a cloud-based VDI solution, right? So, in any VDI solution, we have a functionality that we can publish desktops as well as we can directly publish applications. So user can go to workspace and launch applications from there, right? Same thing can be done in Windows Virtual Desktops on using application groups. So if you go to application groups, right now, as you can see, we have IT Sense test application group, which is for the desktop, right? And under application, it's the default desktop, correct? But we can always add another application group apart from desktops. It will be for this host pool. I have just one host pool, so it's fine. And it will be remote app not a desktop app because desktop app it's already exist which includes desktop application group name so i will say business applications okay business applications please select the resource group of oh, did I oh sorry I did not select the resource group sorry I will choose the same resource group and business applications and that's desktop app group is already there so we can't create another one we can create a remote app next and then when i say next application remember the image that i selected which was windows 10 with microsoft 365 app it will look into that image and whatever application it will find it will show me so it means if i want to publish some other customized apps or some apps which are not in there i may need to upload another image through storage blob or through storage account and then I can use that application group and use that image to, you know, to, to publish some other type of application. So I say when I say next application, see, so loading virtual machine and virtual images. And now it's giving me an option to add application. When I say add, start menu or file path. If I know this specific file path I can choose start menu is fine as you can see it's showing me available apps access Excel notepad OneDrive Outlook paint let's choose paint and save and let's add one more you get an idea right your image needs to have those applications so that you can publish and wordpad all right though so let's add one more and maybe maybe this time i may allow what They ask me for a license anyway, but let's say. Okay, and one more thing. It's my good old favorite notepad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, assigned to who? So here we can choose Azure AD users and groups. So I have AD admin already. 
it as a tester and I can choose maybe user one as well and next register application group you can register from this host group or the new or pre existing yes I want to use with the pre existing workspace no tagging validation pass create and it's creating you know my deployment which is related to those applications or application group right so what I'll do now it should not take long so we have a couple of options either I can pause or can wait but let me just pause the video anyway and okay so deployment is complete Let's go to resource, business applications, okay. You have two assignments and four applications. We should be able to see those applications here and you should be able to see those assignments here. All right, so let's, let me, Oh, okay. It's got automatically refreshed. Keep this in mind. I am. You can always refresh like this. And here are the details. Workspace. URL of the feed. RDWeb or wvd.microsoft.com slash API arm feed discovery. This is the standard URL. As you can see, the username is this four apps one desktop last refresh this perfect okay so if i need my desktop i'll go here if i just want to launch an application directly like other solutions like like citrix zen desktop or like horizon view you go to workspace and launch application directly same concept exactly the same so let's launch a notepad And it should be boom shakalaka, yes. So boom shakalaka, good. I wanna save, so my favorite paint. Let's do some confidential document. Right, so yeah, secret map to a treasure. So save, of course, I need to save this one, guys. Sorry, it's very important. So I can save it locally on my PC, which is my actual PC, the PC I'm working for, working on. Now, do you see that? What's this document and download and this? It's an interesting point. This is the PC I'm working on, right? So documents, right? And I have, now look at this. Is this the PC I'm working on? Or is it something else? It is something else because my PC, my documents and downloads are basically not empty. This is C. When I talk about C on my laptop, this is the one that 
So if I go like this, right? And then it's a different story because this is all local, right? But my app, but what about this? This is my, this is the user's folder, right? A part of their profile, system folder, we call it. Desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, right? So, of course, there is a way to manage these. And if you remember when we were provisioning pooled type of or host pool uh, there was an option that you can manage users folders using FS logic right so that's one of the solution that you can explore FS logic container anyway I will save it here under my documents so close so if i open notepad and type something and go to the document folder and see all files yeah the file is there so i say test save Right, so in some of the future videos, we will also discuss profiles. And if time permits, we will, might also discuss FS logic solution that Windows Azure, work, Windows Virtual Desktop in Azure provides you. So you can use those FS logics to manage user folders like desktop documents you know and all that kind of stuff all right so let's see one thing if i log into this desktop i copy to or uh, save two files in my document folder correct now if i go to this vm and log into this and go to file explorer and my documents you think i will find my files here yes see so my files and data is basically saving into the cloud you want to manage this absolutely you want to manage this and see i can see the c drive of my laptop which i'm using at my home and on this laptop i'm running remote desktop client to access my windows virtual desktop in azure similar or same concept like citrix zen desktop like if you log into Strix Zen Desktop, administrator can enable or disable this option that if you're using a fat computer to run Citrix receiver, you will, administrator wants to allow you local drive or wants to block so you cannot use local drive and use just the storage available in virtual desktop, right? So the same idea is all here. Well, I'm giving you an example so it can make sense to you. So those of you who are familiar with Citrix Zen Desktop or Horizon View, it will make sense to them, right? So this is it, guys. Do the exercise and 
I will sign it out. Anyway. So we have tested um, desktop pools, uh, I mean virtual desktops as well as remote applications. These both functionalities comes as a part of Windows Virtual Desktop or Azure Windows Virtual Desktop or Azure WVD. So I hope you like it and in future we will explore some of other things related to WVD and maybe some more. So thank you very much. Please do subscribe to my channel. And if you have any special requests or special assignments, you can contact me through my website, itsense.com. Thank you very much. Take it easy.